hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to talk about five things that can bring bad luck to your home bad luck to yourself without your knowledge you may think that these are normal things and you don't know that it can bring bad luck and set back to your life to your entire family members living in that place the first of it is living in an unpainted house you shouldn't live in a room that is not painted. Paint in spiritualism means beauty. So when you, you live in a place that is not painted, it does not attract favor. It does not attract good things. It does not attract, attract flashy things to your life. Some people will tell me that if they paint their house, it will attract arm robbers. The same way it attracts arm robbers to come that there is good thing here, that is how it attracts favor to you. So when your building is unpainted or your house is unpainted, People will not look at it physically. Then spiritually good things cannot locate that place because that place will look very dirty for favor to live in that place. So note this. Let me assume somebody packed that from a building and you want to take over. Please never you live in that building without repenting it. No matter how clean the room, instead the room, not the building because the building may not be your own, the room that you paid for or the flat you paid for, try as much as you can to repaint inside because that is where your energy lies that is where you attract your energy try as much as you can to paint it no matter how the person lived in the building very clean please paint it with your own paint unless it's a new building entirely that nobody have lived in before you can leave it like that you can enter inside like that but if somebody have lived there please endeavor to paint with your own paint another two is uh, the number two one or is number two of the five things that can bring bad luck the number two is when you have a leaking tap in your house it can cause so many setbacks and stagnation what do i mean by leaking tap your kitchen tap is not working it draws water you find it difficult to call a plumber to change it that is bad try as much as you can to change it your bathroom uh, tap is leaking you just say oh, after all, it's not water that is wasting the way the water is wasting, that is how your money and every good thing in your life is dropping down. So whenever you have a leaking tap in your building, try as much as you can to replace it or fix it immediately. If you are a spiritual person, you will not allow anything to leak in your house. Anything tap you will not allow it to leak in your house. When you just notice a little uh, plumbing uh, work, please call the plumber immediately to fix it. It can bring bad luck, stagnation, and setback, even disappointment, leaking pockets. So try and fix it immediately. The third one is living in an uncompleted building. Most of us will be building our houses. I will not have one to complete. So let me move in. Even if it's to carry tarpaulin and cover the window, even if it's to use cotton and cover it like that, after all, it's my house. It can bring setback and stagnation. Look around your neighborhood. People that is living in, in, in an uncompleted building, watch how their life is. Their life does not go well. They will live in abject poverty for life. Just check around. They, can, they cannot move from there because their life is limited to that place. Even if it's your own building, once you moved in there, it will take you time for you to fix it. But when you have not moved in, You'll be hustling, you'll be struggling to make sure you complete it. But once you just mistakenly move inside that uncompleted building, it may take years before you complete it. There is one man in my village. I, I think I grew up, or I, I was a child when that man, that, build, that building was already there when I was born. Do you know till today, the house is still uncompleted. It was last year that the wife died that the children just came and fixed one side. But it's not as if they don't have money. They have the house they are living in town. But they are finding it difficult to go and complete that building that their father uh, you know, didn't finish. So these are things uncompleted building can bring to you. It can bring bad luck. It can bring setback. It can bring stagnation. Most of us don't know this. You just move in and you forget about completing that house. You will find yourself finding it difficult to even remember that building. Because your, your, uh, your income is not limited to other things. You can no longer put interest in fixing that. And you cannot double your hustle to make sure that place is fixed. It can bring setback, stagnation, and so on and so forth. The fourth one, 
sleeping with another woman or another man in your home, in your matrimonial home. This is for married people. If you are married, please mind yourself. Don't bring another person to your matrimonial bed. It can destroy the whole, the whole family. It can cause a lot of setback, stagnation, disunity, poverty. Check around people that do this. You will see how their life will become empty. They may be doing well, but all of a sudden, you will hear of sudden death, sudden poverty. The person will just fall from up to down. The person cannot rise again because it's a lot of accumulated, accumulated energies that is fighting the person that is doing this. If you watch men that are promiscuous, you will see the way they end up. They end up in a very dirty way. They end up either with a very terrible sickness or abject poverty. You'll be one day, they will say it's their village people, it's one of his uncle. It's not true. You've gone to sleep with somebody carrying a lot of negative energies. And when you stupidly bring it to your home, that is how it's going to affect every member of your family. They will start suffering from what they don't know. There are people you should not cross their paths. Talk of bringing them to your home. Please be careful. Even women do it these days. When I was in the university, the neighbor close to me, she usually the ones the husband travel, you see her bringing men to the house. So this kind of thing can kill even your husband. It can kill your children. It can bring poverty. It can bring setback. It can bring stagnation. You will see that kind of family, there will not be peace. Because the energies that is going around that house can destroy everything around there. Nothing like happiness in such homes. The last one is hanging a clock that is not working in your house. If your clock is bad, change the battery. If it's not a battery problem, please remove it from your home and buy a new one. If you cannot afford to buy a new one, leave it. Don't buy clock. Just let the house be like that. Putting a clock that is not working means setback. Your life will be stagnant. It means poverty. These are what some of us don't know. You come to somebody and say, I want to check the time, see that the time is not correct. That is how things are about to be going back. Things are about to will not be correct. It will not be working the way it's supposed to work. You'll be experiencing a lot of setback, stagnation. So do these things, as I just mentioned, the first one, I said living in an unpainted house. The second one, having a leaking tap in your house. The third one, living in an uncompleted building. The fourth one, bringing different people to your matrimonial home. And the last one is hanging a, a clock that is not working in your home. If you like the video and if I get the number of views I want, I'll make the part two so that we all know how to back ourselves up spiritually and know things to avoid. The common things we do and see it as common can hinder us from progressing. Okay? Thank you for watching the video and if you've not subscribed, kindly do so. Follow me on Facebook at Solution Empire, on YouTube at Solution Empire, on TikTok at Solution Empire 01 so that you learn everything you need to know about spiritualism so that your life will never remain the same. Thank you once again for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.